Hey guys, this here is my camera dolly, and I'll tell you how I made it. So this camera dolly, I made it about three years ago, and uh, I saw a few different uh, concepts online and different things people did, and so I kind of made my own just based on materials that I had at my disposal. And um, so what I came up with is, you know, obviously a four-wheel concept. Uh, I have rollerblade wheels with skateboard trucks. And uh, this piece of metal here, this was actually really convenient. This was just kicking around in my dad's garage. It's 11 inches long and it's got some holes in it. And yeah, just solid piece of metal that can, you know, all this together can hold the weight of, you know, a DSLR, even a few larger cameras, depending on what kind of head you have on. If you have the heavy duty head, obviously you can hold a pretty good camera with it. Uh, but even if you go with the little more inexpensive ball head, um, you know, I put a DSLR on this with just this head. Um, obviously you can't have too big of a lens or else you might, you know, weigh this down, but otherwise that'll work. Um, so yeah, I have the, the metal strip there. Um, and I got a, a bolt going through with the quarter inch threads so that obviously you can fit on the bottom of any tripod head and, um, some washers just to make it so that the amount you have coming out fills what you need. The smaller ball head had kind of just a, you know, not a very deep thread going into it. So I had just a little bit coming out of there. Um, with actually this one, this one can go a lot deeper, but even that right there is still enough to hold it steady on there. Um, yeah, there's a rubber stopper and um, yeah, some washers. And of course, since I'm in Canada, a hockey puck and the hockey puck is actually great. It's, you know, it's kind of a nice little base plate there holds things up. So as you can see with the skateboard trucks, um, the there's, or I'll show you on a skateboard actually. So on the skateboard here, see there's the trucks. Um, this is the axle part, which is the only part of it I used. And then there's the base plate. So I kind of separated the base plate. And what you do, you get your screwdriver or crescent wrench rather get it on there, you take that off, and um, you'll you'll want to use this uh, rubber stopping that's in there, as well as this like kind of bowl-shaped washer. Um, I didn't end up using the, the bolt from the trucks, or on the skateboard they call it the kingpin sometimes, but um, I ended up just using a different bolt, and as you can see, here's the top of the bolt, and then I just had it fastened off with a nut at the bottom. And yeah, but there's still the the rubber stoppers from the original trucks. And um, what uh, my dad actually helped me with for this part was we cut off. You see on the truck there, it goes further. It goes further into the base plate there. So we just shaved that off. And uh, yeah, what's nice about this design is that um, obviously you can get your uh, you know your side to side shots which is, you know, the common one, or your, you know, head-on following or backing up. But also, because of the way this one is, you can twist these, and you can kind of do a, one of these, you know, you could do a rotating shot following something. Just get this back on there. Say I wanted to rotate around this lens cap here. I don't know what kind of video I would be making where I want this shot of a lens cap rotating around, but hey, you never know. Maybe you're doing like some kind of product shots, and I mean, that's not a perfect rotation around it there, but you know, you just kind of mess with it, and you know, you put them more like this, you get a bigger circle, or you get the smaller circle real tight. Here we go, let's get that right on there. Where are you, there you are. Yeah, I don't know, that circle's too tight. But anyways, there's a lot of different things you can do with that. And actually, if you're using a head like this, you know, you could do like a, kind of a, a crazy shot like that. Or you could do it side to side too. Depending on uh, how good the head is and how smooth the motion is. So yeah, that's 
that's the design I have for this, and I mean, you could definitely come up with your own thing, but um, yeah, you know, this didn't cost a whole lot. Obviously, I was fortunate that I had some of these materials at my disposal, but uh, you just gotta look around, and I mean, like, obviously the strip of metal, that could be hard to acquire, but, um, you know, maybe you know someone that's into welding or something like that, someone that's a bit of a handyman, and maybe they might be able to help you out, or at least find a piece of metal and put some holes into it for you. Uh, some other ways people did it was they had a more wide plate here with holes and then they could put different accessories on. Of course with those designs they usually weren't able to you know rotate the wheels and all that so but yeah that uh, is kind of a neat flexibility of this design. And so I realize you might not always have a smooth surface to roll on like for example here there's you know the the plywood that's got the divots in it so you kind of get you know you get bumps in the shot so um what you can do in that case you could if you're going somewhere to shoot you can always bring something flat and smooth with you this is just a thin piece of foam core and you know this works pretty good too hey Carmen hey girl yeah she doesn't care but anyways that's one option, or else you could bring something heavier, more solid, and lay it down. Give yourself something smooth to roll on. And then you're looking good. But yeah, no, so look around, see what you can find. And I mean, rollerblade wheels, um, yeah, if you're buying them new, they could be a bit expensive. But, uh, you know, you just look on some online ads. Maybe someone's just giving away a pair of rollerblades. And if they got some good wheels on them that are still nice and smooth then you're good to go. You don't want to use the skateboard wheels because skateboard wheels are like, they're a lot harder. You don't get the, as smooth of the movements. And then again with skateboard trucks, I mean, you don't have to go to the skate shop and get those expensive trucks. Um, you could, at a department store, get a skateboard, sometimes real cheap, sometimes as much as 10 bucks. Um, this one I actually bought at a garage sale for five bucks. You know, I might just ride this again, just relive the glory days of breaking my limbs. <laughs> And yeah, so if you can find the parts, this could end up being pretty inexpensive for you. Of course, there is the the head that you have to put on it, but uh, I mean, you know, you might be able to take the head off of your existing tripod and put it on, or else, you know, one of these, you get one of these secondhand for maybe 20 bucks. Um, and, and I mean, secondhand with one of these, a lot of times people get these and hardly ever use them and then they sell them, so... You know, it might be just as good as new. You just gotta take a look at it there, see if it's, it looks like it's got some wear inside there. You can usually see, cause there'd be a lot of crud built up from just, you know, the ball grinding against there. But if it looks pretty clean, it's probably pretty good as long as it can hold tight still. But yeah, so give that a go. And uh, yeah, you can make some neat shots for your videos. Uh, we use this so every so often for our dog videos. Usually I'm just going handheld though, but uh, yeah, you can get some neat stuff with that. And uh, yeah, this wasn't really a dog video, it was kind of something different today, but you know, we're making videos, so I might as well show you some of our homemade gear. And uh, yeah, thanks for checking it out. I hope you come up with something cool, and take her easy. She's a dog with a YouTube channel.